Among many other things, Tesla's CEO Elon Musk is very popular, or should we say notorious for, is coming up with what we would politely refer to as totally insane ideas. Some might, however, argue that electric jet is not actually a completely crazy idea. As a matter of fact, it is not even a new one, for Mr. Musk has been bringing up the topic of electricity-powered aircraft for years on end, sometimes via Twitter, other social platforms, and even TV shows. His unshakable confidence in the very possibility of such an endeavor did get lots of people curious about Tesla's actual intentions on manufacturing the first-ever all-electric aircraft. In this video, we are going to dive deep into this topic and share with you everything we know about Tesla's all-electric aircraft. Welcome to another business automated video. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell. That way, when we post more content like this, you will get notified. Now, let's get back to our main topic. The latest tweet with an explicit reference to Mr. Musk's obsession with the all-electric aircraft manufacturing by Tesla came in October of 2020 with a post in the World of Engineering Twitter account. The post in question dealt with the British French Concorde aircraft and its last commercial flight 17 years ago. The Concorde was an engineering wonder of its time, an aircraft capable to cover the distance between London and New York in less than three hours, traveling at a speed of 1,350 miles per hour. Among those who actually responded to the publication was no other than Tesla's CEO Elon Musk, who said, quote, there should be a new supersonic jet, this time electric, end quote. Elon Musk's idea of having an electricity-powered aircraft was born at some point in 2008. In 2010, at his cameo in Iron Man 2, Mr. Musk claimed that he, quote, got an idea for an electric jet, end quote. In 2016, Tesla's CEO claimed to have a design concept for an electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. The idea was reiterated during his guest appearance at the now infamous Joe Rogan podcast. While clearly enjoying the wheat kindly offered by the host, Mr. Musk talked about his idea of making a vertical takeoff and landing supersonic jet. Quote, the interesting thing about an electric plane is you want to go as high as possible, so you need a certain energy density in the battery pack because you have to overcome gravitational potential energy. The energy you use in cruise is very low, and then you can recapture a large amount of your gravitational potential energy on the way down, so you really don't need any kind of reserve fuel, if you will, because you have the energy of height." End quote. Now, the main obstacle standing in the way of making Mr. Musk's dream a reality is that of insufficient energy density, even in the most modern batteries, none of which are currently capable of giving the aircraft enough power at the time of the takeoff. Tesla's CEO himself recognized this problem back in 2018. Turning to the real-world numbers, in order to actually make a fully electric aircraft, the world needs to achieve at least 400 watt-hours per kilo of energy density in the battery installed. Even that, however, might not prove sufficient, so to be on the safe side, the perfect number would stand at something like 500 watt-hours per kilo. To give you some perspective on where those numbers actually stand in reference to the best technologies available for Tesla today, Tesla Model 3 battery pack's energy density is at 250 watt-hours per kilo. One does not have to be a math genius to calculate that the abyss separating us from the electric jet is that of at least 150 watt-hours of energy density per kilo. At Tesla's 2020 Battery Day event, in response to a question posed during the Q&A session, Tesla's CEO said the following, quote, There are batteries in limited production right now that do exceed 400 watt-hours per kilo, which I think is about the number you need for decent range, medium range aircraft. And I think our batteries will, over time, start to approach the 400 watt-hour per kilo range as well, end quote. 
an absolutely fantastic piece of news, right? Especially coupled with the announcement that Tesla is planning to produce its own batteries, making it possible to increase the Tesla vehicle's range by 54% and actually decrease the cost of a kilowatt hour of energy generated by 56%. On the 25th of August 2020, Mr. Musk also claimed that the desired 400 watt hour per kilo batteries with sufficiently long life cycles are only three to four years away. Even though officially Tesla is investing both efforts and resources into battery research in order to increase the range its vehicles will be able to cover, the results of such a research will be perfectly applicable for construction of the first all electric aircraft. Sky, not space, seems to be the only frontier still unconquered by Tesla. What about the actual fruits of the research in question? Well, in August 2020, Tesla's battery research group in Canada, left by Jeff Dunn of the Dalhousie University, published a paper dealing with the increased energy density battery cells. The cells discussed in the paper would arguably be a huge improvement over the existing battery technologies. A part of the paper reads, quote, such high energy density can increase the range of electric vehicles by approximately 280 kilometers, 174 miles, or even enable electrified urban aviation, end quote. The concept of electrified urban aviation was not further elaborated in the paper, yet potentially those three words could be taken to refer to anything from electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft to electric flying cars or even commercial jets. The paper said that the research team was successful in achieving an energy density of 360 watt-hours per kilo and a volumetric energy density of 1000 watt-hours per liter. In June of 2020, a British industrial designer, Tom Abbott Davies, came up with a concept of an E, vertical takeoff and landing aircraft for Tesla. Officially named Tesla Model V and praised by Elon Musk, the aircraft was inspired by the Manta Ray. Essentially, it is a one-passenger electric flying, well, shall we say, vehicle with a 1,250 kilowatt rear motor, as well as a dual 650 kilowatt brushless engine and magnesium fuselage with a titanium shell. Mr. Abbott Davies, who started to work at the concept of the vehicle for Tesla back in 2014, has very good chances to be hired by the company at some point in future. Elon Musk's obsession, or something close to it, with the all-electric aircraft notwithstanding, making anything like it is not a part of any near-term plans of Tesla. While responding to a Tesla fan question, Mr. Musk stated that he had, quote, enough already on my plate and Tesla's, maybe one day we'll do a prototype. Those are relatively easy. Volume production with high reliability and low cost and passing all regulations is 100 times harder, end quote. What Tesla is focusing on nowadays, therefore, are electric vehicles and energy storage equipment, which is arguably much more important for humankind, with their potential to exert positive influence upon our lives here and now. With World Resources Institute reports claiming that 24% of world CO2 emissions were produced by various means of transport, and with 72% of those means being our vehicles, Tesla is quite right in making the decision to focus on those pressing issues. Aviation industry only accounts for approximately 3% of CO2 pollution every year, so this means Tesla can continue its mission of replacing fossil fuel cars, which are a big threat to the survival of us humans and our planet with electric vehicles. Elon Musk has often claimed that everything in future, except for rockets, is going to be electric, which is why we may see some electric Tesla aircraft in action. Make sure to check out one of the videos shown on your screen right now. You can also go to our Business Automated Channel profile to see if we have posted another video update on this topic. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you on another Business Automated video.